Hello, 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 and welcome back to my Hansel and Gretel. Oh my goodness. I really hope that wasn't as loud for you guys as it was for me. But in case you haven't noticed, we are currently having a bit of a thunderstorm. Oh, it would be nice to have a summer holiday, but no. I don't know who this is. Not dealing with that right now. Right, so, guys, more revelations. Um, if you can believe it, I logged into my game and a baby appeared. Okay, it's not that simple. The thing is, um, Carla was pregnant last time and I looked in today and she'd had the baby without me um so yeah that was kind of sad I kind of wanted to see well <laughs> I didn't want to see her have the baby but I wanted to see her have the baby you know um so on top of that the name was chosen for us so we have Estrella Grimm here and honestly I don't know how I feel about the name Estrella I never would have picked it myself I had names planned actually so it was either going to be Petra if it was a girl or Klaus if it was a boy but apparently this is a girl and uh yeah, she's called Little Estrella. So, I don't hate the name Estrella. It's kind of interesting. But, um, do let me know in the comments below if you think I should change her name to Petra or keep her as Little Baby Estrella. <laughs> Estrella, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, yeah. I, I'm I'm kind of of two minds of it myself. So yeah, as well, uh, we have officially aged up Gretel. Here she is after the uh, rejig, um, listening to very quiet music there. Um, but yeah, this is her pajamas in case it wasn't obvious. But I really like this look for her. She's well. I say this look for her, she's in frickin' pyjamas, so it doesn't really tell you much. But let's actually go and have a look here. So, if I get her to change into her every day... Um, I kind of... Like, okay. Her room is a bit weird, it's very white. And I think that that was a bit overkill. So here we go. So she's kind of going for slightly sort of geeky I guess but also like neat casual is kind of the vibe I was going for so actually if I go to plan outfit very quickly um, we can have a look at her other costumes very quickly just because I really like um, what I did with her and Hansel we can have a quick look at his too so as well she got the self-assured trait and we decided to go with academic so she's going to go to university and try and become a detective so her formal she's she's quite a tomboy so i i like the idea of putting her in a suit uh her sports is just very kind of monochromatic again um pajamas we've got her party wear so Truth be told, um, I wish these colours matched, but I did it anyway, because why not? Um, truth be told, my plan for Gretel, I like this a lot, is that she will be a lesbian. Um, I think that, unlike The Sims 2, I don't know about The Sims 3, but um, there's no real like indicator in the game. like. On The Sims 2, you could do like a like a cheat or something to see like Sims actually had genders when they were born. Not not genders, sexual preferences. Um, so it was kind of hidden away in the code, but they they would still be able to go with whoever you made them go with or 
you know that sounds weird but you know what I mean they could go with whoever but their preference would just be there as a sort of indicator to what they preferred but in this game like you can they just like anything so you kind of have to make those decisions for yourself and with these two I, I'm gay myself so I wanted to do some representation we've got the straight parents and the gay kids so I feel like that's a, a nice variety so with uh, Hansel here he's still a little chunky um, popularity friend of the world he's cheerful as well now and a glutton I kind of like the idea that this was a lolly with his food theme um, so in a big contrast to Gretel he's very <laughs> colorful and a bit like I, I kind of imagine him he's like someone that most people just kind of get on with in terms of them being teenagers like he's not like a popular kid but he's just someone that nobody really hates I would imagine and he likes to go to kind of parties and stuff and just be a friendly person um, with his formal I thought this is this like taboo Moshino or however you pronounce it pack mm. thing and when I was looking through everything was just too formal for him and I saw this and I was just like screw it formal doesn't even really pop up that much but it's just kind of funny to me anyway I kind of like it even though it's a bit crazy um yeah I don't imagine he'll be working out much but I thought this was fine and then we got his crazy psychedelic <laughs> pajamas Again, this as well. Just wanted him to be really colourful. I really like this t-shirt or shirt. Um, I wish there was maybe shorts that were a bit more matchy. But it's all just a bit of a mess anyway. Like You can tell my style choices are questionable. But I love it anyway. So why not? <laughs> um, again, the sort of 80s bright colours. And this one was just sometimes it's harder to get the kind of really variety of colors so I just went for a like pink and white with the hot and uh, cold is a bit random as well but again I tried so yeah so this is them and I personally just really like the contrast between the two I had envisioned way 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 back when I first made this LP concept I've got notes of all kinds of stuff that I planned in my mind and I always imagined Ludwig as the slim parent and uh, Carla is a little more curvy and then I wanted that to be replicated in the children with Hansel being chunky like his mother and Gretel being slim like her dad so yeah we kind of had to switch that a little bit with what we got but I didn't actually show you this time with Hansel. But Hansel didn't actually look that different from how he came as a teen. So that was kind of cool. I actually liked the hairstyle that he came with. So we left him with that. But I did change quite a lot of Gretel stuff. So yeah, we are going to... I've never done the university oh, thing yet. I'm one of those simmers. Shout out to all of you out there. I know you're out there. But I'm one of those people that I've just bought loads of the packs and I haven't actually necessarily played with the content that they offer. So we're going to start doing that. I want to enroll her at university. So apply for university using a computer or mailbox once you see him here's back. Okay. So we don't have a computer because they're still a little bit anti-tech, although I'm sure Gretel was probably going to get a computer at some point. Um, oh, he's meant to be going to Scouts because he still does Scouts as a teenager, which I find oddly endearing. <laughs> Wait, let's pause for a second. Oh my goodness. I don't like... Scouts is a bit of a foreign thing to me. I feel like it's a bit more American than, than in the UK. Um, but I don't imagine many people in the UK doing Scouts as a teenager. I could be totally wrong. It certainly wasn't a thing for me anyway. Um, but yeah. So let's try uni. Scholarships. Apply for scholarships. He's off to his meeting. Fab. Oh, and good, the storm's gone as well. So, yeah. I w oh, apply for scholarship. 
Sims with moderate household funds will be eligible. Residents of Windenburg may be eligible for this grant. Windenburg resident. Okay. She's a Windenburg resident, so let's do that. I don't really know what that means. Okay, so as well, I, I was so loving it. So, oh god, that's so creepy. That's really creepy, guys. What the hell? Um, I think she's going to age up really soon, actually. Maybe even today. Because I had the thing set to quick. But anyway, I was sharing on Twitter. I've aged up some, not all, but some of the well children. So we've got Helga here, Godret, and Salazar. I'm living for their designs, honestly. I'm biased because I did it, but I really am feeling it. I didn't anticipate how much I was going to enjoy their personalities. And honestly, like, on a base level, as a Hufflepuff myself, I obviously had a very specific image in mind for a Hufflepuff and uh, Gryffindor is so in your face with the, with the franchise that they have a quite a strong archetype as well. And with Salazar being evil and a Slytherin, I didn't want to just have him go for the criminal career and, you know, I thought that would be a bit cliche. So I thought a twist on it would actually be really fun to make him be a criminal of the heart. I, I thought <laughs> I thought he's going to wreck some hearts. He's going to be a little heartbreaker. Um, so he's going to... He's got the serial romantic aspiration. And he's going to be playing the field. And actually, I think he will be bisexual. Because I don't think we have a ton of options as things are now with uh, love interests. Obviously, he can't be getting with his well children siblings which would just leave Hansel and Gretel but Gretel would not be um, seduced by Salazar for a second she is not interested in guys so we may see some uh, interactions with Salazar and Hansel executive decision Carla has created the best kitty litter jingle ever. What? But when she pitches it to her client, the VP of dumbing things down asks her to work in the word piddle based on recent market research. Mm, go figure. Should she make the change or fight for her art? Fight it. I think... I think she would uh, fight it. Performance gain small, so that sounds good. The exec throws a temper tantrum, but no one seems to notice or care. They keep Carla's version and play it for the company at a team meeting. She still hears people humming it to themselves as she leaves the building. Love it! In your face, executive. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're teens and they're already getting the phones out. This is the thing. I'm definitely going to be gradually... Abandoning the whole um, no technology thing because I think they're just evolving with the times and they've embraced it a little bit more. They're still, they're still, you know, they're not going to have flat screens everywhere, but yeah. Um, so with Gretel, we've already been working on her new aspiration. We we'll have to see how this enrolling to uni thing works. Um, I've never done it, so. We've started it. Why is that there? Let's throw that away. And let's see how it goes. Um, and with uh, Hansel, he'll be trying to make friends. Maybe I'm going to have to add some more teenagers. Or maybe we should just mingle with towny teenagers. Let me know in the comments. If you can, if you could so kindly. Um, <laughs> let me know if you think we should get it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he was running for that. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Um, Helga is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Okay. Why not? 
we can go and see them. Let's take Gretel as well. Um, oh, but I'm going to finish the part soon. But, um, my god, that was a close shave. Uh, we did a change Ludwig's aspiration to super parent because he did finish his aspiration and I thought he could be focusing on baby Estrella slash Petra whichever so again I'm, I'm asking a lot this time guys sorry but maybe as well I don't know I could ask some of you guys to make some new townies for them to be friends with friends with or something I don't know this is all fresh we're gonna work something out um, oh my god, we need to go into this house now though. I'm not about to have any of them get electrocuted. So let's go. And uh, see them. So, Godret, I really kind of liked her tomboyish fashion that I did for her as well. I kind of imagining in my mind that maybe uh, Gretel and Godret might have a possible blossoming relationship but let's see we can't force these things can we we have to just see how they go um, Hansel is best friends with Helga still I believe and I hope she's not still outside. Where is she? She was outside a second ago. Um, so, okay. The toilet's totally possessed when I need it. <laughs> but, um, I was planning on Hansel being good friends with all of the world children. So hopefully we're able to achieve that, but maybe more is going to happen between him and Salazar. And the other thing is here is, I decided as a sort of plot point not to age up Rowan alongside the others. I thought he's actually going to be stuck as a as a child ghost for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm going to have it be Helga's sort of personal mission she's taken on an interest in the magical arts after Rosina and she wants to find a way to help Rowan um, break his curse let's say um, because he's stuck and I think that'd be kind of an interesting plot point um, so yeah this is why Rowan has not aged up yet and look at them all together. I don't know where Salazar is. She's so cute, I think. I love this. I'm biased. I did these sims, but I can't help it. I feel like they all kind of really have distinct styles and personalities. Maybe maybe Gretel and um, Godret are quite similar. Like they both got their hair tied back. They're both a bit tall boys. But, I don't care. I like that they are a bit like matchy matchy. I think that they could be like a power couple. Although my intention, eventually, Godrat is gonna steer more into I think fitness, like being a bit of a jock almost. Um, whereas Gretel is gonna be full on academic and detective work. So yeah. Here they all are. I don't know where Salazar is. I think he's hiding. Let's see. Um, maybe he's downstairs. Oh, a few little updates here. I added some more of the uh, um, magic furniture. This is like the house chairs in colour. Hogwarts house chairs. Um, for some reason, now Rosina is doing the collector aspiration because she needs to find a diamond bad for her immortality potion so along the way she's been collecting frogs now which have got a like a little temporary home here um and i will need to update this as well for the uh teens but i'll do all that off camera because i think that i take too long doing that 
But yeah, I don't know where Salazar is. Maybe he is out at school or something. But yeah, so this is going to be this part here wrapping up now. What a kind of picture perfect moment, getting some side eye here for some reason. And the cat, Schadenfreude, right in the middle, taking a big old yawn, I think. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. And uh, hopefully in the next part, we will see Gretel starting uni. Or I don't know how long it takes. We are going to enroll Godret as well. And I don't know, maybe I'll have them go stay in a dorm. I think that might be quite interesting to kind of split up the story arcs a bit. So we might have these two in a dorm. And then I believe... Helga, unfortunately, being the Hufflepuff and the do the right thing will be taken advantage of a little bit by Rosina and she may find herself working in the sweet spot cafe for Rosina um, whilst trying to juggle her magic and school. So she's going to have her work cut out for her. Um, Paul Rowan is going to be a little bit left out, but maybe he'll be able to bond with Estrella. Or Petra. <laughs> so yeah, if you let me know in the comments, so I'm asking them like millionth time if you prefer Petra or Estrella. And um, if you think I should add any more townies, whether it be you or if you guys make some townies for me, that could be cool too. Cool, That could be a cool idea. Or if I should just mingle with whichever teams we come across. There was that Summer Day or, or whatever her name was earlier. I didn't even read. That was kind of rude. I didn't even read what she was texting. I think it was something about, or calling, calling about charity or something. So, yeah. And uh, I'll see you in the next part. And I hope you're all well and safe. So have a good one. Bye.